Hello folks and welcome. Fedora Linux 37 workstation. GNOME workstation, that's the desktop environment. So uh, anyways, um, my user for today is Max, not that that's important, it's just a made up name. I'm gonna give you a tour and overview of Fedora Linux, and I'll also make a quick pit stop over at uh, DistroWatch just to give you the particulars if you do not know anything about this distribution. Today I'm filming in 3840 by 2160 at 200% scaling. After I close this uh, that window down, uh, things will get smaller, so I would investigate your player as far as uh, your particular screen resolution. A lot of times folks don't know this, but their video players on their YouTube players usually default to the lowest screen resolution. Not in all cases though. But more importantly, this is the GNOME desktop, 43.4. Let me open up a web browser and uh, talk about this distribution a little bit. And then I'll tell you about uh, what kind of environment that I'm filming in today and uh, etc. So I will reduce this down in size a little bit, point to number six. You can also get DistroWatch as a link on my YouTube site. And all of my videos are over two minutes, but they all have chapters and timelines. And I do encourage that you investigate my about section and also the um, community tab if you're wanting to do keyword searches on my 110 plus videos. All right, so let me blow this up slightly. Fedora is out of the United States. It's an independent. They have several desktop. Today I'm using GNOME. They do offer a live medium. That means you can download the um, Fedora workstation and test drive it. And I do encourage that you do that if you decide to install this distribution. Make sure, making sure that your hardware works. So if you are curious about this distro, the Fedora project is owned by Red Hat. Red Hat has a large server community out there. Okay. They're into a lot of different things. Get Fedora, getfedora.org. Workstation downloads is right here. You just uh, click that and start following their directions. There is also other additions down here below. So called Fedora Spins. Now I'm gonna close that. I am filming in the X11 environment. When you install this distribution, it boots up in the Whalen windowing environment. The reason I'm using the X11 is because I installed simple screen recorder through other means. It's not available in the software store. That's what I'm using to record this video. All right, we have activities at the top. We have a calendar thing in the center. You have a weather thing over here, which you can click and you can do other stuff. We have a multifunction key over here, which I'm not gonna click on everything, but you can see the volume microphone. There's a gearbox for your main settings your wireless thing, your Bluetooth thing, and um, et cetera, et cetera. And you, of course your power key. And you can also get your system settings. So let me bring that downstairs about. So you can see another way of looking at system information. Again, this is a Fedora. And uh, you can see all the particulars that I'm using. Now you can see the OS name. The type is 64-bit and the window environment our system is X11. You will see Whalen in here when you boot up. How do you change to the X11 environment? You log out of your system. Okay, you log out of your system. When you uh, log back in, just before you click your username, you'll see, um, as soon as you click your username, you'll see a little tiny gear pop here on the lower right hand corner. And you'll just click that and you'll have several selections. One of them is X11. The default is normally GNOME. That would be the Wayland environment. Why am I not using that? Because simple screen recorder doesn't work in that environment. That's why I'm making mention of it. Now I'm going to continue. What can I do by right clicking on the screen? Well, I can change the background. You can also do that in your file manager. You can add a picture. These are the default wallpapers. So uh, one more time. I am filming in 3840 by 2160 at 200% scaling. If this is not working for you, go investigate the little setting on your, on your player. Also, if you're curious about mouse pointers, um, there is uh, not a selection, but you can uh, change the size of your cursor from here to there. If you have any interest in uh, adding additional mouse pointers, drop me a line. I will do a separate video on that. If I don't hear that, then I'm assuming you're gonna be watching some of my other videos for that. 
because uh, installing a mouse pointer is uh, fairly simple except uh, it needs to go into a certain folder and you also need one more tool to actually change this black mouse pointer to something different but I'm not going to cover that in this video I'm going to continue so um, let's talk about uh, that was display settings and settings now let's talk about what's downstairs you have your standard Firefox web browser you have a calendar thing and uh, you can click the hamburger menu and take a look at some of the online accounts and if you have any of these sign up for them or if you already have an existing account and may want to tie into them possibly bringing in the calendar thing and you can already see the weather information here for three days on my my calendar you got your week and your month and I'm sure you can go check the rest out as one would say all right your file manager is um, I'm going to resize these icons just like I did on the web browser just doing this on the fly if you want to do it the old-fashioned way then click the plus or the minus all I'm doing here folks is holding down my control key with my left hand while using my USB based computer mouse scroll wheel to enlarge and shrink those icons they do come in handy for thumbnails like this and speaking of thumbnails you can pick anything from wallpaper pretty much and you can also do the same thing in here just by adding a photo add picture okay so anyways file manager standard folders resize and of course you can resize the box several different ways other than that I'm gonna move on from the file manager and hit start software manager a lot of people uh, would like to probably know in that one hamburger menu about software the gnome project 43.5 software repos I added and I apologize I should have wrote, written it down I added one repo in here um, to add that simple screen recorder but in general what you see in here is uh, looks like Fedora uses their own flat pack software area okay because that's not going to flathub.org that's going to fedoraproject.org so it looks like they're using their own flat pack versions okay so there's flat flat hub right there uh, but anyways um, you can see all the different repos when you install the system by the way um, if you use the workstation for instance uh, you're not going to be asked until after you reboot for a username and password and then of course don't forget to do your updates and speaking of you'll see them across here with a number on them and you'll click that and just follow the directions on how to update stuff installed packages are listed here on pieces of software or applications and to uninstall anything it's pretty simple or you can do it from here trash can you can do searches you can do explore point and click stuff folks pretty simple to use some things have screenshots I would say probably a lot of things have screenshots but we're gonna continue now that was software and of course you can use terminal to install anything pretty much that's how I installed simple screen recorder and that's the icon for it this is not available in your software store all right let's continue Fedora media writer contacts weather clocks maps LibreOffice spreadsheet um, photos videos calculator another LibreOffice product uh, document scanner settings another shortcut to settings and again you can get that from here also system monitor boxes terminal utilities I'll just open that up briefly LibreOffice Writer, and I believe this is 7.4. I'll just briefly open that and hit about. It's uh, 7.4. And let me go back to the main menu. Help. I'll click that open. It's a fairly nice looking help thing. And uh, what did I leave off? Rhythm box for your music, cheese for your webcam thing, text editor. Uh, the tour actually auto opens after you uh, fill in your goodies about your username and password and uh, it will uh, offer you a quick tour you can decline it it's pretty simple actually and again simple screen recorder is not here and it's not available in your software store other than that you can do also look for stuff start typing in other words I'm gonna hit escape and escape again so right clicking on the screen there's three things change background display settings and settings they, they essentially all go to the same spot 
it's just different categories. It just zones in on the display settings. But this is still settings, no matter how you slice this. Okay. You also have some shortcuts here if you're curious. And uh, this is just the general wallpaper. So speaking of changing backgrounds, and if you wanted to get your own picture, it's going to ask you and default right to Max is my user. Uh, that's just a made up, made up name. Uh, you can go and go find a, I'll just pick that, that one there for instance. And then if I wanted to use it, just click on it and you're done. That's your new wallpaper now. Okay. Not sure which one I was using. I think it was using that one as the default. All right. I think I'm done folks. Hopefully this was uh, something that uh, you were interested in. In other, case, in other words, you can uh, definitely go onto DistroWatch or even uh, Fedora's website and go investigate that on your own. Thank you for watching.